Welcome back everybody. Today I am going to grind down, today I'm going to grind down the damaged parts on the hull. As I showed you the other day, we have quite some significant damage here. Um, I'm not sure how it will come out. It is pretty close to the edge, the edge and I'm just gonna have to grind around this whole circle here and just see how deep this goes and how bad it actually is. Bought myself this full suit, full body suit, so that the fiberglass won't stick all over me. The fiberglass is pretty itchy and during the grinding part, there's gonna be fiberglass everywhere. I got this shot back on Facebook Marketplace for $25. So that's gonna be turned on during my the grinding process, I got a fine filter. That'll work good. And uh, I'll turn that on while I'm grinding. I also got this grinder from $25 as well. It's a tool man, I've never heard of it. It's, it's a cheaper brand, but it's what I, it's all I need for the job. So I'm gonna hook all that up. I got my gloves, respirator, sander, and I will start grinding down this damaged area. See how it goes. These were the damaged areas. They're not, they're not near as bad as the back, but you can still see there's some cracks here as well as right, as well as this crack here and here. I'm gonna try to at least eliminate that crack so it's not there when I do the repair. Right, so I have been grinding away at some of these holes, some of the cracks that I found. So here we have one. I don't know if I'm gonna go any further around, but uh, there's one that I found. Cleaned up some damage that was here. It didn't go all the way through, but the there was a piece here that was like delaminating or something. So I just cleaned that up. And then I kind of just went over the keel and then just ground down some of the gouges that were in the keel. And then I just went over the front a little bit. I'm not completely done this section, but this is what I've got so far. Right now I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna sand down the bottom of the boat with my palm sander. It's gonna go over the whole bottom. Um, kind of just get rid of all these scratches and whatever other um, gouges and dents I find just to get it all smooth. I, uh, I sanded like the whole hull down both sides. I still got a little bit left to do on this side. Um, but I got like the black paint off, most of the black paint. There's still a little bit over there that I need to work on. Um, but for the most part, 
I would say the whole hall is uh, prepared for the fiberglass that I need to do. I need to make sure that um, I feathered evenly around this because it's a little bit of a hump here still. So I'm gonna um, just touch it up here along this edge with my grinder quickly. I'm not gonna take a lot more off, but then I'm going to that's so when I lay the fiberglass down, the fiberglass cloth, it's not gonna kind of like, I don't know, I just want it, I want it to lay evenly. And I don't want it to be all like wavy kind of deal. Same with here. I'm just gonna even out the, the edges here and make it more of a, a feathered edge. And this one as well, just feather it a little bit more even around this section here. Other than that, this is gonna be a pretty big repair. Looking forward to seeing how it turns out. So I had a small tripod for my camera and it broke. So I need to find a new one, but anyways, I'm just gonna have to do some filming without a tripod. So the footage might not be the best. We'll see how it turns out. Well, I got all of the uh, spots prepared for fiberglass, pretty sure. I actually found a new spot. Found a new crack. It was actually, it was like a hairline crack under the paint. So I couldn't really see it until I started sanding. I was kind of like just sanding over this area and a hairline crack started getting bigger and bigger. So I took the I took the grinder over it lightly and all the fiberglass underneath the gel coat was like delaminated delaminated and it was um uh I guess probably just a weak point that would probably have gotten bigger in the future. So I just I just took it down just kinda like uh yeah, just a small hole. Actually, it's bigger than that one, but uh, I'm going to just repair that as well. I'm going to get all my cleaning supplies and wipe down all the dust and clean it all off and then hopefully get around to fiberglassing. So I got all the dust wiped off of the boat. I'm gonna get my fiberglass cloth, cut it out, see if it fits. All right, let's do this. So I got all of the fiberglass cloth cut out for all the holes and they're all ready to go. And now I'm just preparing the surface with, uh, I'm just using acetone. So I'm just using this and a wiping rag. Basically just soak the rag and I am just scrubbing, scrubbing the surface of the fiberglass, getting all the dust and particles out of the little holes around here. Hopefully it will be clean enough to apply the new patch. Okay, so I have uh, all the all the surfaces cleaned with acetone and we are going to put down our first patch. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to do a five to one mixture ratio. So on here you can see we got the five to one to one, but I'm just going to fill it up to the one mark with resin and then just add to the other one for the hardener.
Just put a bit of hardener in. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna do this piece first. Just gonna go over it quickly with my roller. I see a few air bubbles right here. I just wanna work out. Good. And then I'll just put that here. I'm gonna also turn the camera a little bit this way. So now I'm just going to make this wet. Get a little bit in there. All right. Peel them all off and lay it down over the hole. And <laughs> this hole's pretty big. So it looks like this fiberglass will sag a little bit. And I don't really know what I could have done to prevent that. Maybe I could have put like a piece of, uh, a piece of like uh, aluminum foil tape on the other side, but that's fine. I'm gonna, once this all dries, I will make uh, what they call like a fiberglass putty, like a peanut butter putty from fiberglass uh, chopped strands and kind of just fill in the, the divot. Now I'm just making sure all the air bubbles are out. And it's pretty center. I'm doing this right. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so it's looking good. I think the, you know, this, all these air bubbles are out now. Great. And yeah, it's sagging a little bit, but that's not a huge deal. Try to kind of pull it a little bit tight if I can. Okay, great. It's starting to set, so that's good. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with it when it's trying to set. Okay, Ooh, got a little bit of fiberglass on me. I'm gonna clean up 
all of my tools, clean up everything, and just let it harden. And then, and then see where I'm at after all of this. So I'm just gonna put a bit of, to clean all my tools, I'm just gonna put a bunch of acetone in the bucket. I'm gonna throw the brushes I've used. They're pretty cheap, they're like a dollar each. I will clean everything up and then we'll come back when it's dry and see how it looks. Okay, so it's like eight or nine hours later. I'm out here checking the fiberglass patches. It is kind of cold out. It's probably around 45 or 50. Maybe it's more like 50, 50 Fahrenheit. But um, here's the patch. So it is, uh, it's pretty dry actually. Just the surface is like a tiny bit tacky. Tomorrow that should finish up if I can get a, if it gets a little, if it gets warm enough. I don't know if you can tell, but the fiberglass sagged a little bit. I'll just have to fill that in. But the rest of the patches, the rest of the patches, actually, the rest are pretty dry, actually. It's only the big patch that's a little bit tacky. I don't see any air bubbles, so that's good. If you're enjoying following along with my boat project, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.